thing is, though, for guys with hair loss, it's really personal. Okay. And we yeah. make lots of jokes about guys with hair loss, and I yeah. think we should maybe... Some, some guys are fine with it, but some guys find it really, really personal and difficult. Yeah. And I really feel for him, I have to say, Prince William, because he's had to go out there and show the world the new hairdo. I mean, you know what it's like. And there's all the gags. I think the son's got some gag about um, no hair to the throne or something like that. And I just... <laughs> I, 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 I genuinely feel for, for him. Yeah, and, and I think he looks right. fabulous. So he I'm does look say, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, because we just assume that men are OK with losing their hair. But actually, yeah. you're right, Kay. It really is quite personal. And, and for some people, they really struggle with it. I know Joe definitely struggles with, you know, the fact that he might lose his hair and, and he gets really conscious about yeah. it and, and it's a big deal. So I do feel, I do feel sorry for men yeah. when they're going through that. Because if it were a woman, you'd have loads of sympathy. And yeah. we can get hair them. extensions yeah. and whatever and they can't. We can get away with wigs yeah. nowadays. I don't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is not, this is not me and I'm very open about it. No, I've got thin menopausal nasty hair <laughs> that I cover up by buying someone else's. <laughs> Okay, we will park that there, but uh, as we say, Prince William, we think you look very handsome. Yes, yes. you do. Yeah.